Hi guys, my name is Kwong Su, and welcome to a Princess Connect Redive video. Today, I'll be breaking down the five bosses for October's clan battle, Clan Battle 9. The bosses for this month are Wyvern, Wild Griffin, Mega Lapan, Spirit Horn, and Sagittarius. We have had most of these bosses before, but the Mega Lapan and Sagittarius are two bosses that we have not yet encountered in clan battle. Another big thing for this clan battle is that we now have a new level of difficulty in phase 3, which activates from lap 6 to beyond. This is a big deal, because this means clans will have to plan and test even more throughout clan battle to figure out optimal damage. We have now diverged so much from the China and Japanese servers that we now have to do all the hard work on our own as clans to figure out optimal teams and timelines. What this will mean for the community is we will probably have to raise healers such as Yui, Chika, Misato, or Maho in Phase 3 in order to have a chance of even staying alive for the entire duration of a clan battle attempt. If you're unsure how they should be built, Chocolate Star and Equipment Guide will be in the description below to help you figure that out. With all that out of the way, let's break down the bosses. First up is Wyvern, who has a Union Burst which deals moderate physical damage to three enemies in the front. Second is Wild Griffin, which has a Union Burst which deals moderate magic damage to three enemies in the front. Third is the Mega Lapan which has a Union Burst, which deals large physical damage to all enemies. This also knocks them back, reduces its own physical defense and magical defense, so you want to time UBs for after it uses. It also deals moderate physical damage to all enemies, and inflicts stun on enemies in range. Fourth is Spirit Horn, which has a Union Burst, which deals large magical damage to enemies in range. This also knocks them back and inflicts stun. It also deals small magical damage to the first three enemies in range, lowering their magical defense by a small amount, and lowering their attack speed by a small amount. Finally, we have Sagittarius, which is a Union Burst, which deals magic damage to all enemies based on their maximum HP. This damage is tripled for enemies with blind. It also deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, and inflicts a potent bind on the enemy with the lowest remaining HP percentage. This makes it very difficult to keep your backline units alive for this boss. Lastly, it deals physical damage to three enemies in the front. The key planning you'll have to do in clan battle is deciding whether you want to run physical or magical teams against certain bosses. In cases where physical defense and magical defense are equal, physical teams should be used as there are more units that are currently available to make physical teams. With that in mind, you also need to consider the number of magic teams your clan has. Some bosses are much easier with magic teams. For example, Sagittarius and Mega Lapan have way less magical defense than physical defense for certain laps so that is where your magical teams will be going for the most part for this clan battle. For Phase 1, you should use physical teams against Wyvern, physical teams against Griffin, physical teams against Lapan, physical teams against Spirit Horn, and magical teams against Sagittarius. For Phase 2, you should be using physical or magical teams for Wyvern, physical teams for Griffin, magical teams for Lapan, physical teams for Spirit Horn, and magical teams for Sagittarius. For Phase 3, you should use Magical Teams against Wyvern, Physical Teams against Griffin, Magical Teams against Lapan, Physical Teams against Spirit Horn, and Magical Teams against Sagittarius. For Phase 3, despite Wyvern having significantly more physical defense than magical defense, you may have to just bite the bullet due to the scarcity of magical teams. And with that, that is the full breakdown of all the bosses for Clan Battle 9. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel so much and lets me know that you want to keep seeing more content from me. My name is Kwang Su, and see you guys in the next video.